My fellow Wastelanders, I stand before you here today as a leader who is committed to serving and protecting each and every one of you, ghoul or not ghoul. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, I believe it is crucial to have a Mr. House who can truly mediate the wasteland and be a voice for the voiceless. As your leader, I will be a fair and just judge, ensuring that conflicts are resolved based on objective facts and not personal biases or favoritism towards any faction. I will uphold the principles of justice and equality, ensuring that all wastelanders are treated with respect and fairness. I promise to look out for everyone in the wasteland, regardless of their background, affiliations, or past history. I will work tires tirelessly to ensure that each and every one of you receives a fair shake and has the opportunity to thrive in this harsh environment. Together, we can build a community based on trust, unity, and mutual respect. Let us come together as one united in our common goal for creating a better future for all wastelanders. With me as your Mr. House, I am confident that we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. Thank you for your trust and your support. Together we will navigate the wasteland with strength, compassion, and integrity. Let us forge a path towards a brighter tomorrow for all. Thank you. Well done. If you try to act on any myself. Alright, settle down. Settle down. We will be hearing oh, your demon voice candidate. Frank Rico. Strong. Your demon voice. <clears throat> Ghoul. In the back, put your finger down or it will be chopped off. Oh shit, he's calling you out. I don't want to associate with him. Ladies and gentlemen, today we stand at a pivotal moment in the history of Vegas. Our, our city has always been a beacon of opportunity. A place where fortunes can be made and dreams can be realized. However, to ensure that this promise endures, we need leadership that is both visionary and pragmatic. This is why I'm here to advocate for myself as our Mr. House. Being strong represents more than just any candidate. I embody the future that we all desire for New Vegas. My track record speaks volumes about my dedication to progress and stability. Under my leadership, we can expect a New Vegas that is not only thrives economically, but also embraces fairness and innovation. I have a proven history of making tough decisions, but they focus on long-term benefits. My approach is not about temporary fixes, but about creating a sustainable solution that will benefit every resident and ghoul of New Vegas. With this extensive experience for, and for, a forward-thinking mindset, I is so. position to address our city's challenges and turn them into opportunities. My name is Frederico Strong, a leader who understands the intricate balances between maintaining order and encouraging growth. His visions include investing in infrastructure, pasture, development, too much. and ensuring all friend. voices in our community are heard. No problem. I am committed to safe, safeguarding we turned away a our unique way of life to the lowest man to the highest man while paving the way for a prosperous future. Voting for me is not just a choice for a leader, it's a choice for a future where New Vegas continues to shine as a symbol of opportunity and success. Let us come together and support, support the future. Thank you. Hell yeah, Federico, baby! That's my Mr. House right there! Yeah! Federico, been out here! He wants his name like hello! That's a fantastic speech from both the candidates. 
we will now open the ground to any factions, wastelanders, any of the sort that wants to ask these two candidates any questions on how they will deal with certain matters that portray to you. Well, I guess the biggest question that I'm going to ask here after you guys' both great speeches from two great candidates is your choice of flags to display next to yourselves. What was the, what is your leading choice there? Rico, do you want to go first, brother? Good collusion. I chose the Wastelanders because I support the common man and the common endeavor. From the lowest man to the highest man, we are all should be treated equally. From ghoul to smooth skin, we should all be one and the same. And I think the Wasteland flag represents that most fair, the most fair way. And what say you about your flag? I was making sure he was done. Sorry, brother. We had his mic cut out earlier, so I don't want to interrupt. So, um, I'm gonna be very honest with you. <laughs> out of RP, did not get a choice in this flag, but <laughs> in RP, I want you guys to understand something really quickly. I may be a part of NCR right now, but as Mr. House, I'm not part of the NCR. Mr. House is a part of the wasteland. Mr. House is a part of everybody. <laughs> Shut up, guys. Settle down. Hey, please. NCR, Settle down. stop now. <laughs> I'm too fucking high. Regardless of any step out of the line will be dealt with. Okay. Regardless of the faction, regardless of the affiliation, it does not matter where I'm coming from. What, I, what matters is this. As your Mr. House... It does not matter at all what flag is beside me, behind me, or around me, because you know what? All flags should be around me and beside me. All members of, of you out there are Wastelanders. You may have joined a faction, you may have not, but that does not make you less of a person if you haven't. All of you have a voice under my authority. All of you have a voice under my leadership, and I will make sure that I am present for every single one of you. There will never be a question that you cannot ask me. There will never be a moment where I cannot sit down and hear your, hear your crisis, hear your concerns, hear your comments. I will be a man for the people, elected by the people. Thank you. Okay, and what current rank do you hold within the NCR as you come to the table? I am a first sergeant, sir. No further questions. Thank you. Yes, I uh, I would like to say, for, this is a question for both of you. How would you guys keep uh, the wasteland a safe place? Rico, you want me to start on the second one, brother? We'll just go back and forth. Like we're Sorry, could you repeat the question? Oh. How how are you guys going to keep the wasteland a safe place for all the wastelanders and all the factions? That Yeah, you can go. Okay. My goal as Mr. House is to make sure that all of you are protected. All of you will make sh will have a chance to be safe. There will never be a boogeyman that you guys have to worry about under my leadership. Because I guarantee you that you will have sa safety and prosperity with me. When I'm going to look out for, for the little man that's out there or the big man out there, I will make sure that no matter what occurs, if you are on my land, and if you are on this area, this earth, this wasteland, you will always have my protection. I will make sure that my Securitrons will be there for you, whether that is in the capability of helping you or protecting you. I will make sure that I am available, that all resources that I have are available, that no matter what, if you need sanctuary, I will be that sanctuary. Thank you. Finished? Yes, you're a good brother. I plan to establish two new agencies. A wasteland-wide police force to establish law and order. And a Red Cross to provide aid for all the factions and and all the wasties alike 
to not be fired upon and be purely, purely providing aid and humanitarian efforts. And anybody will be welcome in my land. The strip is a neutral zone to everybody, from the little man to the large. I have a question for DJ. Yes, sir. Uh, it felt like earlier you dodged the question on the whole NCR thing. As Mr. House, I will not be NCR. Will you be leaving them? I, as Mr. House, I'm not going. There's no leaving. I don't need to be a part of NCR as Mr. House. So you won't be part of NCR anymore. Yes. Need to be. I don't need down. to be as Mr. House. Yeah, I'm not asking if you need to be. I'm asking if you're actually going to step down or if you're going to be a corporate shill. Oh, there's no corporate shill here, brother. When I say that I'm taking a mediating stance on this... No. When I am taking a mediating stance on this... Oh, I am right now? Hold on. Chipmunking. Chipmunking for everybody else or just me? Yes, you. Can you hear me now? That's fine, then. Yeah, yeah, what were we saying? Let me answer you, brother. I'm sorry. Because I want to make sure that this is clear, and it's something Very that I've also metal. discussed with Chang as well. So I want you guys to be aware and hear what is going to be said here. If I'm elected as Mr. House, I understand many of you are concerned that I have been a part of NCR. There has been assurances given to me, for your benefit as well, that there will be checks and balances no matter what is discussed. So you guys will understand very clearly that it is not just going to be me making the ultimate authority. I may be the one that is speaking, I may be the one that presents it, but it is going to come down to a vote. It is not going to be just Mr. House's authority. If there is ever any any instance where there feels like there will be a bias towards one faction or another, that has been made perfectly clear by Mr. Chang that there will be a veto power for all faction leadership to make sure that this is stopped. So, I'm not NCR as Mr. House. I am Mr. House. I'm the right choice as Mr. House for the Wasteland. That's all my questions. The NCR plant. Damn, okay. I have a question for DJ. Yes, sir. DJ, as a dungeon, I would like to... You're caught now, brother. I'm so sorry. Can you repeat that? All right. Speak up if you can, Ghoul. Damn, Damn, well, as a sergeant in the NCR, I would like to know your thoughts Where's on taxes. Your Are you going Ooh. to implement yeah. them? Have you been paying your taxes? Have you been taxing people? I, I would can like tell to you. Know. He's I can tell you personally, <laughs> as a first sergeant, I do not have the authority nor the power to tax people. I do believe in, in paying what I've owed, but have I personally gone out and sought it from anybody else? No. But what I can tell you is this. In this strip, I'm not going to go out and seek taxes from you. I do plan on at, at some point putting up a casino here. During that casino, I will make sure that we actually take a portion of the funds received and give that back to the community itself. Well, that is not going to be giving it back to your pockets. That is going to be giving it back to the wasteland itself to make sure that things are fixed, that things are, are beautiful, <sighs> to use that profits to make this place great and prosperous, not for my own benefit. Should we have to take this? All right. So, uh, Would you like me to answer the question? Yes, I would like. I would love you for you to answer the question. Yes. What are your thoughts on taxes, and why should we vote for you instead of this communist brick? There Did will be no taxes under my under my leadership. I am a wealthy what about the casino? coming coming into this. Drugs. Hey, I like gambling. And everything will come out of my own pocket to benefit to benefit the betterment of humankind. I will be building <laughs> hospitals and food centers. And will we still have uh, legal access to yep. Radway and such uh, recreational drugs? Under my leadership, yes. Oh. I need Jack. 
Go ahead, Frederick. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure. Well, those are all my seconds. questions, but I think I speak for everyone. Right we away, will be handed out. Cases. And I'm looking for a, po a possible cure for all mutations and all ghoulifications. Mm. Uh, I want to stay a ghoul. Are you racist against ghouls? Negative standby. Seriously? Negative standby. I am. They keep us from going feral, <laughs> sir. Sir, my wife is feral, and that's a derogatory term. I do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Get this guy off the question stand. So, come on. This guy's racist. Unbelievable. Alright, this was the squish for both of cool. you. Strong and DJ. <laughs> How will you guys guys handle slavery in your territory and will it be allowed or will it be allowed to be conducted within your territory? Fucking better not. Strong, go first. Fuck, that was my question. Slavery would be slavery would be convicted, only convicted. Abraham Lincoln one of the convicted prisoners as a workforce. Convicts? <laughs> Uh, add on to that question. Add on to that for a second. Say, say if you wish to give these prisoners away to other groups, will that be allowed? Not so selling He's pro human rights violations. I do not know at this time. He's pro slavery. Understood. Alright, DJ, go. That snap was crazy. While the Legion itself has its own rights and its own laws, I'm not I'm not speaking for Legion. I'm at, I'm speaking for the everyone right now. If, I know. If certain let, groups. Me, let me let me finish, brother. Let me finish. Thank you, by the way, bro. Thank you so much. While the Legion has its own rights and laws, when it comes to the protection of the wasteland as the factions in whole, I don't believe in slavery. I believe it is the fair yeah. choice for all to make a decision based on who they go for. Oh, fuck. What happens mm. out of my territory and in Legion lands, I cannot control. But if you come to me, I will offer you sanctuary here. I'm trying to take that. Can I be a bounty hunter this way? Uh, last question. What happens if a, a runaway slave of Legion were to come into the uh, strip, would you allow us to come and get them? Or would you hold them and protect them? Are you asking DJ me that question? Or are you yes, I'm going to be side? asking both of you that question. Okay, DJ, you can it. go I'm first. Sure. This, this territory... The strip. Oh. oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Um, if, if they are in this strip, this is not Legion territory. This is not Legion land, and I am not going to surrender a wastelander who is trying desperately to live his life free from the chains of bondage. So I'm not they saying, this I'm saying if they were to run away, if they were to run away from Legion territory and we very much wanted them back, would you hand them over or protect them? No. No. I would not hand them back. Where the fuck step touching my fucking shoulder? I'm gonna smack the I would make sure that, the that if they have, oh, well, I'm sorry. If they have left you guys and are running away, it is very clear to me that they are trying to find sanctuary, and I will oh, offer hey, them no. sanctuary. That Thank you. Be yes, the sir. End of that Show the fuck out. There. So Last that pretty chance. much, they are able to. I ain't touching you. That is continuity with uh, Who the any fuck's tapping my shoulder? Stop that stuff. shit, or I will smack the fuck out you. I put oh, that yeah. on my mama. I put that on the Raiders. I have. I had to answer your question, my good friend. Put on grand, grand. We're doing not. Okay. I have a question to ask you right now. So I have to answer the last question. Use local chat. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hold on. Let him. Let him finish. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Can that legionnaire comes back? I want to make sure we address this appropriately. Sorry. That's one nice suit of fucking PA right there. Jesus Christ. Same question for you, Strong. You can start. I anytime. agree with my opponent. I will not be sending them back, but I will allow robotic workers to be in their stead to work for the Legion in their place. Because human life is a resource. And they deserve to live free. Okay. But I understand the Legion needs work, and the robotic workers will do. Our way. Our way. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. I have two very pressing inquiries for you both. This right here, commonly known as morphine, otherwise known as jet. 
who will allow it to be sold in t inside their own territory by the Raiders? Who will allow us to set up shop and to provide for their economy? Rico, you have the first floor this time, brother. I will allow you to set up shop only if it is medical equipment, not recreational drugs. Ooh. Mm. Hardcore drugs will not be allowed, but a little recreational, a little recreational psychedelics never hurt. Ooh. I want one. And you, hey, Mr. DJ, brother. Okay, I was making. I just want to make sure he's done. Sorry. There you go. <clears throat> As Mr. House, that is a a very tender subject in my heart. As someone who who has overcome a lot of turmoil in his own life seeking that pain and suffering on another human being is not something that I would wish however I would allow you guys to set up a rehabilitation clinic to help wean people off the materials I will give you all jobs so that you can use your gifts and uh, items that you may have on you to help wean them off of that, to live a brighter future without the drugs. Thank you. Also, how the fuck has it been 200 years and there's still sticks in the roads? There's still cars laying about. How have the previous governments not fixed this issue? And that how is my you main go on forward to fix it in the future. That is my main that is my main objective is to clear the roads and rebuild critical infrastructure. Driving is just a threat. Anything can take you out. These roads are not safe. They're not they're not in proper condition. And I plan to use my uh, Securitrons as a force force of well-being to repair and get the roads in, op in functioning order. Highways from ma major cities, between factions, bridges, to repair the damages of the war that I have witnessed firsthand. After seeing the bombs drop, the roads have never been the same. And I plan to fix that. Our country need go check the crates. Our country's never been the same. And we must rebuild. Must start anew. Make the wasteland great again. In my response Yay. that I gave earlier to you brothers, I told y'all that I plan on putting a casino in this land and taking the profits from that casino to benefit and better the wasteland. Part of that beneficiary is going to be clearing away the debris and starting anew. We may not be able to change the past and the things that have happened before, but we can change the future. We can make sure that the mistakes of those who have come before us do not repeat themselves again. I will make sure these roads are cleaned. I will make sure the land is healed. And I will make sure that our future generations on this earth will have a better world to live in. Thank you. To be clear, I will not be spending the taxpayer's money or the waster's money to repair these roads. It will be coming out of my own personal pocket as a wealthy businessman. And I'll be using the resources at hand that I already have access to to do so. Well, and what I will both. have as Mr. House. Thank you. I have a simple question for the both of you. Yes, How sir. would you, as Mr. House, deal with the unjust use of long range artillery by the NCR forces stationed at the airfield to shell the surrounding towns? <laughs> Ruining the infrastructure wrong and place, wrong and houses time. that remain there. Don't invade our fucking town. Uh, and then cry when you get shit first, on. brother. 
shit on is crazy. Still shit on is crazy by the guys who retreat. Okay. As most of you know, I, I am currently still part of the NCR. And I can personally tell We're you without a shadow of a doubt, we have never bombed a town that was That's not in our territory that is being assaulted God, and attacked. As poor wastelanders are being slaughtered in a needless battle for a conquest of territory. So, in response to your question about the artillery being used on troops who are slaughtering innocents, I will make sure that you are very clear when I say this. I am not going to punish them for using that to defend their land. Just as I wouldn't put I, I wouldn't punish you guys for defending your territory as well. But when it comes to the protection of the wasteland, any attacking force is the one that is at fault, not the defending. Thank you. Well, any any wastelander, any any faction member, any soldier can walk down the road and see the result of NCR shelling. As much as much as my opposition wants to believe that the NCR does not shell towns and infrastructure, anybody can see the results of it. The roads are in disrepair because of it. What? The houses are gone. Critical infrastructure, bridges. Is that why your face is so fucked up? I'm Wait, to a man named Delta. We're not the reason the wasteland's a fucking wasteland, what? Jeez, bro, no wonder no one likes these guys. Yeah, we nicked it. It was this. I have spoken to a man named Delta. He was living Who in a rubble, oh, rubble filled oh, house Please, when an artillery up. shell fired by the NCR landed in it. That was his home. And it was in pieces, it was in half. The attic was caved in, the ceilings were gone. And he was just a lonely wastelander. Brother, I was there at that battle. That was Legion using their arty gun, just so you know. Yeah, I'm like positive that it's not no shoes the backstory, I'm gonna be honest. He was not. Just like you know that. Bro, the NCR shot my dog. Alright, alright, let's get back on topic. The Legion took my firstborn. What about the showing of Tyron that happened a few days ago? Where there was nothing but outcasts and wastelanders yeah. in it. Yeah. You say that you don't shell your own territory, but Tyrone was being held by outcasts at that point in time. But you still shelled it. But yeah, they invaded Killing our town. Killing wastelanders. Yeah, hired by outcasts. Maybe stay there and fight for it. We don't hire wastelanders. In, res yeah, in response do. to your severely biased question there, brother. Yeah. Outcasts moved through the territory and slaughtered the civilians that were there with ruthless abandon with their hired wasters that they paid to kill their own brethren in cold blood. And you expect me to stand here and judge the men who decided to try to rid that this? oppressive force you have any from proof our land. Firing upon their own men? What? What are you talking about? Any proof? Of what you say? I have a proof All of right. outcasts coming through right. attacking? Yes. I'm going to end this line of questioning right now. We are sticking to the topic of the elections. We are sticking to that deal right now. When the Mr. House is elected, then that will be the topics and the questions that are asked. So, with that being said, Alcas, do you have any questions that portray? Nope. Very good. We want to make sure that we are keeping the election, the debates, on par and on uh, on schedule. I do not wish to uh, interrupt anybody on some questions, and uh, they are valid. Do not think that they are not. So uh, we just need to make sure that we are keeping things along properly. So with that being said, uh, who is up next? Gunner? I'm Miniman. Miniman. Fantastic. <clears throat> you have the floor. I have a few questions for you. For both of you. First, what will you do about... Because there are some things that protectons can't do. Say, they won't be able to catch certain people selling illegal drugs or 
like, for example, Psycho and, you know, chems like that. What will you do to stop that from happening in New Vegas? With my police force and my drug agencies, that will be no concern. We will host investigations and we will hunt them down to the ends of the earth. Okay. CJ. Mitch, that's a, that's a great question, Mitch. I want to make sure this is very clear. While my Securitrons will do their best to protect everybody here, I will have a task force that will go out and root the problem out. Because I know that the Wastelanders are not, as a whole, there's not all bad apples there. When you have a tree that is not growing correctly, you don't cut the thing down. You prune some of the branches and make it prosperous and grow brighter and stronger and more fruitful. I know that all Wastelanders out there, there are not all bad and not all good. There are some bad apples that are going to ruin the pot, and I will not allow that to stand as Mr. House. I will make sure that my task force ruthlessly and effectively takes care of all of those bad apples. Thank you. All right, then. Next question. For, I'm going to use an example for this one. Say a bunch of raiders somehow captured the president of the NCR and then brought them in to the strip to sell them off or to ransom them off to somebody. What will you do? Wait, what about hold on? Uh, say that one more time. You were cutting it out for me, brother, on my TV. I'm sorry. Seems like a one sided okay. question. I said, I said, for example, say a bunch of raiders somehow captured. The, the president of the NCR to come in here to say and sell them or ransom them off to somebody. But a bunch of NCR are outside ready to fight. But the Protectrons will end up firing back if they try anything. What will you do? I've already answered this question there, brother. I will not allow slavery in this territory. It's not slavery. It's human. It's basically someone. It's human trafficking. Basically selling to us for information or, you know. Human trafficking is slavery, like brother. It's just a glorified version of slavery. This My is a sanctuary. Sense. All right, then. My last question. How will you two get your income in since you won't be paying or taking taxes from the Wastelanders? Go ahead, Federico. And how will you be able to pay for, say, the buildings, security, sure. stuff like that? You want to go first, Rico, on this one? I'm already a wealthy businessman. Most of the infrastructure and most of the critical things I can afford out of pocket with no need for any additional aid. And with my powerful backing and allies, I should have no problem affording what I need to get the to get the job done and better humankind. And if you ran out, somehow. I haven't ran out for 200 years. Got 200 more left in me. The monopoly. Bitch, to answer your question, brother, I've already announced that I'm going to put a casino here. That is not taxing the wasteland as my opponent would like you to believe. It is giving you the opportunity to come and test your luck at a fair and equitable price. Those proceeds do not go to me. Those proceeds go to better this facility, this country, this wasteland that we have here. This strip will be a better place because of it. It is not going to, to punish me. It is not going to embellish me or allow me to do things that I couldn't do before as a poor first sergeant. It will allow me to use those funds as I have wanted to, to make sure that you, of all people, the wasteland, have a place that is co to come that is safe and prosperous for you to grow. I would love for people to come and start businesses here. Legal businesses here to better themselves to prosper themselves to promote the RP in this area I want you to come here and make this place great again because I can't do it alone but I can do it with all of you thank you I do have one more question this one will be a quick one 
Well, what would you do if the faction suck. took too much territory inside of the shrimp? Uh, are you you saying a faction taking territory in the strip is not going to happen? I meant Better like they say like they buy land from other people and they take you know enough so like wasters can't buy houses and stuff like that. No land will be sold without Mr. House's exigent authority. Um, and as Mr. House, I'm not selling any more land to factions. It is going to be a place that they can come and grow. They may have an embassy here as we have currently, but they will never be. A faction held large majority of the strip. This strip is Mr. House. Mr. House is the strip. And this place is for all wasteland, not a faction. Good. What about you? I will, not, I will not be selling land. It will be divided equally with their embassies. There will, all be, there will always be room for the wasties and housing for all. No that's worries. all I have to Security That's all the questions I have to ask. Thank well, you for answering my questions. Yo. Come on, speed it the fuck up. I need y'all to I need y'all to go. It, what will the row on prostitution oh, day? Oh my god. Legal. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus guys, guys. It's come on now. now. Get that Tell legionary out of here. Get off the stage. 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 Jesus. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, brother. All right, everybody, oh, right. everybody, everybody brother. settle down. Thank Let him speak. All right, this question's um, only for DJ. I only have one question for you. Okay, um, all right, Wister. How do you plan to track uh, and halt the ghoul pandemic and the plague of the wasteland? The ghoul vaccine. Um, I would not use those words there, my friend. Um, <laughs> But as I, have say, stated, as I have be stated before, I, said, I stand behind the wasters and the ghouls. I will also make sure that when the time comes, if there is a moment where they have slipped past health and they are unable to be helped, and I have not found the cure to help, I will make sure that they have the most peaceful and graceful exit from this world as I possibly can. Let me get her. Yeah, that's Thank all you. I wanted to know. <laughs> Fucking enclave. Uh, Alrighty. This question goes. Uh, I have two questions. I'm keeping this brief. This will go for the both of you guys. First of all, you how do you guys plan on yes, I'm keeping registered. peace between all of the different factions here? No, do you mind? I'm trying to listen itself. to the questions. Go ahead, Rico. You got this one first, brother. I plan to have each faction. Represent representation as a council head and we will discuss things civilly and hope it doesn't come to conflict and if it comes to conflict there will be there will be measures in place to control it and put it down before it gets too large to answer your question there sir I have previously stated when discussing this to get into this position to be standing here before you if there comes a conflict between the parties at the strip it is my prerogative to gather all faction leadership together into a room and discuss this amicably as we would any situation that requires everyone's attention I will have representatives from every faction here that includes the wasteland I will make sure that all parties are aware of what is going on as I will make sure the edict is given out by me directly so that there is no confusion, there is no miscommunication, there is no warping of words or misinformation. I will make sure that it is clear and concise for everyone and everything in this area and this world. Thank you. All right, and then the second question is solely just for DJ. As a veteran to of the Legion, 
I have doubts within your ability as a sergeant in the NCR military to stay unbiased as possible. How will you plan on going about keeping unbiased towards the NCR? I have already made it clear with the president of the NCR that as taking this spot in as Mr. House, I will not be able to rule in favor of one faction over another. As I also previously stated, Mr. Chang and the faction leaders will have the ability to veto anything that is considered biased towards one faction or another. But as I have also stated, I am a man of my convictions and I am a man of my word. And if I tell you right now, standing before you, that I will be that unbiased observer who will observe all of the facts that have been given before him and make it an objective ruling so that no party is in favor more than another, I mean that. I will not, and I repeat, will not favoritize any faction over another. He's lying. Shut up. Nope. All right. I hope you can keep that word. There'll be a cross for you on Western Heights if not. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Strong, this yeah. is a question for you. Will the strip be a getaway from factions fighting and be a place to go to for R and R? If you're not yes, there, completely. There'll be so many things to do here. I have a whole list I'm working on. Okay. Can I understand that you can fund all these things as a prior businessman? Yes, sir. I've made I've made millions in my thirties. Gotcha. Still doing great. And for clear, my question for you is: as a first sergeant, you don't have you're a senior rank, but you're not getting a lot of money from that position. How are you going to fund the casinos that you're building? Will that be from taxing more people? No, as I've already previously discussed, and I will continue to discuss, because there's some leadership that I've not spoken to, I want to put together a pool from all factions, not as a tax, but as a donation to make this town great. From that, the casino will be built. Upon that, then the strip will be self-reliant, because the income from that should generate enough to fix all of the problems that we have throughout the wasteland. I know that you guys are looking for a place to blow off steam. I understand how hard it can be to stand at that CP, guarding it day after day, no. night after night, in the pitch dark, and in the blazing sun. I have been there myself, a man among you, a man in your shoes. I have known how tough it can be, and I am giving you a place that you can come together. You can sit beside someone, Get to know that someone and blow off the steam that you all need to blow off as much as I know you have. Thank you. And with it being such a high rank in the NCR, were you able to gain a lot of experience in governing and things of that nature? Um, I am actually an NCR senator there, sir, already. And in previous lives in another wastelands, I actually ran a faction that was a mediator faction would go between factions to coordinate ceasefires, treaties, um, alliances, etc. So I am very well versed in the uh, daily back and forth when it comes to making sure that all parties are equally satisfied. With you being an NCR senator and a first sergeant, were you then responsible for a lot of the actions that the NCR has taken recently? Uh, what, I, what are you in referencing to there, sir? The conflicts in Tyrone and other locations. That's our town. You've lost that town. Continue, please, sir. Territory's turned off. Cheeky, stop. Um, are you asking me if I'm justifying the, the attacks on NCR lands? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding your question. It sounded like a statement that I questioned. I'm just curious where your standing is going to be as this unfolds, how, whether you win or lose, what the actions are going to be from the NCR, and your thoughts on, with your position in mind, with that experience, how you've managed the NCR thus far. Uh, 
currently as it, as it stands, there's not enough information that I've been given on either side of the coin to give an unbiased ruling on that matter. Um, I was not on for the initial attack. I actually was asleep during that time. I had uh, work in the morning. I fortunately was not available. However, um, I will make sure that as my first edict in, in as Mr. House will be to address that situation to get all the facts from all parties as well as the admin who was there that was was sanctioning the event so that there is no miscommunication and from there I will make my ruling. I understand that answer. Why hasn't that been done thus far with the sitting senator in place? Uh, that is because there is no territories on right now per the admin's rules. Okay. And if you win, will you be fully stepping away from the NCR's Discord or no PIP in roleplay? In line. Their PIP server? Um, as an actual Question Mr. House, I will not be a part of the NCR in any capacity. I understand that you're not going to be a part of the NCR, but will you also be leaving the Discord with that? Uh, I, if I'm required to, then I will. Yes. Okay, thank you. Obviously, <clears throat> the security here is quite lacking. Mm -hmm. My helicopter was stolen not even five minutes ago after you said your security was going to take care of it. They evidently failed to do so, being orbiting us as we speak. How do you guys plan to justify that? Yeah. Are you, are you want to go start with this one, Rico? You want a demilitarized zone, but your security can't take care of a minor infraction? Insult. I did not organize the security, and I'm not Mr. House yet. This is not my security detachments. I did not organize this. Then how would you organize it in the future to make sure that this bullshit doesn't happen again? Well, first of all, there would be a man protecting the vehicles and guarding them for, the, for this ridiculous, a valet of some sort. This ridiculous outrage would never happen under my rule. Just to let that happen to Yeah, a man just died over there. Nah, she's still alive, yeah. They're throwing hands over there. Someone arrest this guy. She's still alive, don't worry. Um, while that terrible tragedy has occurred, brother, I apologize. Um, I was not also the one that set up the security for this event. Well, fuck, I look like an alien. The person that was trying to snipe you okay? you, by can you hear me? Way, so I feel bad for them. Okay, you're sorry. Everything was cutting in and out for me, so I guess my game was um, jumping there for a second. Sorry. Um, I was not the one that set up the security for this as well. If I did, I can guarantee you that would not have happened. Uh, but in future sense, not only will my Securitrons make sure that that does not happen, but I will make sure that if it does occur, that there will be compensation given to you of equal or greater value. Understood. That being said, I have one more question. They didn't do nothing. This goes for the both of you as well. They did. Now, I'm under the assumption that regardless of who wins this race, the strip will remain in the militarized zone, correct? The only thing that will be here is embassies? A firm, yes. So then how can we possibly be reassured that military actions like meeting, gathering, won't take place here without notification? Anybody else? No. Stand up. No large I gathering of troops will be here. It will be a place for pure. It'll be a demilitarized de zone and a place for R and R only. Stand between the shining light. So there will no, there will be no political and meeting. That's, unless action. called by Mr. Step House for a down. meeting. Sorry. Go ahead. There will be no political establishments here. Back. Meetings, things of that nature. Not between the factions, at least. Not without my say so. The meetings will involve me, and I will know everything going on. And everybody will be aware. I, I will have complete transparency with everyone. For the legs. There will be no shady dealings going on in the Lucky 38. No shady dealings going on anywhere in the strip. Says the shady businessman. Thank you, okay. Michael. 
DJ. This area will be a demilitarized zone. I may allow certain events, such as a parade, if you guys wish. What but then it comes to on? a large Bro, gathering of soldiers to build up forces here that will never be allowed. This is a safe place, and it will be a sanctuary for all. Your embassies, your territory, if you want to keep a small detachment there, I will allow that. Personally, just for the defense of your embassy. They will not be allowed to mosey out into this territory armed to the teeth. I will make sure that there is protection here. I do not need assistance from other factions. I will not show favoritism that way. I will make sure you are protected no matter what group you are a part of or what you are affiliated with. Get out of but the there line. will not be active military here unless I call for no, a meeting. And at that point, I will only bring in a few soldiers from each faction and they say to make sure that there is a witness more than just myself but others that will be present to be documenting the entire interaction thank you understood thank you both ah can you guys hear me uh, unless you're doing I recording you or yes. propaganda for your faction okay. this legion guy speak okay I got one question what are you what are you gonna do about the illegal dumping of chemicals in our water that are turning the Brahmin gay. Oh God. Because <laughs> I was the same, right? right? Hold on, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Serious on. question. God, is this, is this Alex God. Jones? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, this is a serious question. So much fucking fun here. Oh my God. I'm sorry. This is a serious question. I own the farm, right? I, I my farm failed because the Brahmin turned gay. So what the fuck? Are you gonna do anything about that? Were they milking each other? What? It was horrifying. I don't want to describe it. Well, I don't um, think it pulled. I will make sure that weekly water testing is done to uh, negate the gay Brahmin effect. Um, What's wrong with the gay uh, Brahmin? I don't. I don't genuinely know how to answer that one. That's a question. Yeah, what's wrong with the gay Brahmin? Trying brother. to make it. Yeah, trying to change it. I will make sure that that is addressed. Or gay Brahmin. You Why are you trying to get rid of the gay Brahmin? I can't think of money. I don't think anybody wants to watch it. And we'll have, like he said, weekly tests. But a water okay. purification. So none of you guys want gay, gay bombing around. Oh, that's crazy. I like gay bombing. Makes my meat tender. <laughs> Bro, fuck. I swear to God. All right, All right, All right silence. Let's move on. Settle down, lads. Oh my God. Settle down. All right, farmer, you've had your piece. Okay. Okay. On to the neck. Can you uh, both gentlemen hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring up the issue with uh, groups of both uh, active and possibly not active as of right now that have been car bombing both multiple factions, murdering multiple factions, which are technically borderline terrorism. Well, it's not. My it's question to you two <laughs> is what would you do for any said hey, terrorist? Hey, You're the terrorist. Give them Silence! The you want to go first? Rifleman, seventh floor. Will, terrorists will be treated Aiming at us. as criminals. And like I said, my law enforcement an agencies. Active it's really a terrorist. And as an enemy combative. All terrorists are enemy combatants. And will be treated as so. You're literally Clear? accusing us of shit. What do you mean? Silence. This is a general conversation. No more. Clear, go right ahead. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to quote a great man who used to live a long time ago by the name of George Bush. We don't negotiate with terrorists. I will make sure that they are dealt with accordingly. As I stated, the apple tree may have a few branches that need to be trimmed. I will make sure that they are trimmed. My God. I will worries. make sure that they Security are trimmed. But I will also make sure that I get to the bottom of this, the core, the root of this diseased section, and rip it out myself. Okay. I do have uh, one more final question. Uh, okay. 
with the recent political uh, vows of violence from said Monty Militia, who have been known to imply IEDs and V-beds, if uh, whoa, said people whoa, were to whoa. enter this town, what would happen? Say, say that again, brother, or you were cutting it off. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, sorry. I, may, I may step in. As you all know, Freeside and the Lucky 38 are neutral territory. So anything that happens within here, all faction leaders are well aware, as well as the potential Mr. House in terms of the security. There will also be Securitrons that will be defending the territory apart from the forces that occupy their embassy jurisdiction. And if need be, as Mr. House, I will call upon all the forces of the land, all of the wastelanders of this great country, and we will eradicate any and all problems that stand there. Watch the perimeter. What he said. Right. <laughs> all right. Good. My questions have been answered. Ooh. Thank you, sir. You both hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Thank you. Thank you for being our last uh, question here for the night, sir. Bainley. Hey, please. I believe I've had the pleasure of speaking to both of you gentlemen here, and the main concern that I have for us when it comes to Mr. House is three points I'd like to try and get through. Sound you both very busy, gentlemen. You can count on First one, what is your main sort of initiative when it comes to civil infrastructure and educational health? Everything good, boys? Can you say that one more time? I'm sorry, you're cutting that off. Everybody, silence comms. So, I wanted to brush on three things I think are important for the person to be Mr. House. The first one, what is your initiative to go towards civil infrastructure, education, and healthcare? Okay, I, th I think I heard what you were saying because I pushed my headphones a little closer. Sorry, my head my headphones are acting up. Um, Would you like me to repeat a question? No, no, no. I, I heard it this time. I, I just my headphones okay. acting up myself. It's not you, brother. I promise. Um, I want to make sure this is very clear here. My initiative is to better the wasteland. My initiative is to make this place great. To make the wastelanders have a voice. If I can stop you right there for a second, speaker. You're given okay. you're given a lot of adjectives. I wanna hear clear cut your plan step by step. That's that's what I was just about to try to get to, brother. I was trying to set up my brother. point. That was all. Okay, Continue. back to what I back to what I was trying to say here. My initial plan is to get into this facility to become Mr. House, to set up a place that I can help the new wasters come by understanding the rules and the guidelines of this great country that we have here. My initiative when it comes to education is to make sure that there is never a confusion, a doubt, or a concern that I have not dressed or given them an option to where they can find the answer for themselves. When it comes to the eco uh, economy of this area, I have fully spoken on what I will do to make sure that that is lifted. When it comes to health care, I have already made it clear that my intention is to set up businesses to help those that are addicted to chems to get off of chems, to help those that are struggling and hurt be healed, to give them a place to come that they can better themselves, allow themselves to give them give a new life a new role they don't have to be struggling anymore they can come here and start a new beginning so when it comes to what i'm standing for when it comes to education to health care to the betterment of society my in my initial standpoint is this brother you elect me as mr house and i guarantee you you will see a whole new wasteland of individuals that are smarter healthier better for you? and more yeah, adapted you. to the Man, future to come am I not, am I not and the other speaker would be your initiative guy for you wanted it you're still doing it you're still doing it try it again 
and they said no, we, now we can hear you. I said, can I go Hello? on this? They said they don't care. So now for you, I have a speaker. What would be your initiative going for this point, sir? I can't go up to the top or bottom. Mm, they wanted a plan. Why is that? First step, I would rebuild security issues. roads and bridges. What I'm trying to kill myself. Transport supplies to the, to the strip. Well, then I building material. You know, not to go on the, you know, rooftop. The build. Again, hospitals, schools. To just attempt to stay on the first floor. I would provide free health care. Okay. I would, I would train people for critical jobs. Teach, teach, make you teachers, elections, doctors, engineers. There are very important people that we do meet. We do not. We provide jobs to help the wasteland. I don't care if you're not assassin or anything. We can oh, slowly oh, start rebuilding this great country. I step by step. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can take my gun if you want. One step at a time. Gun. It doesn't matter if you have a gun or not. The fact that you are not representing a faction or a group. Very no, good. Uh, Hello? Uh, Do you have uh, uh, any more questions? Uh, a gang. Yeah, so uh, I think I'd best to get through these last two as soon as possible. Um, for the second question, it's to make sure of a question and a statement, uh, as pre or day beforehand between the Triforce coalition, well, between the coalition of factions that reclaim this land, one of our prerequisites was to be a neutral peacekeeping force as well as a, lo a neutral police force to work in town. Would this be something that you'd both do your best to make sure remains unbiased? Are you? Are, uh, can you repeat that? Are you talking about the outcasts being a police force, or are you talking about just in general? No, we, so, the, so the idea that came across multiple factions is that two or four of members of those factions would be put together to act as a peace co a peace facing force in case the Securitrons could not handle a massive amount of civil unrest, be that a riot or a armed rebellion. Oh, yes. I absolutely, and yeah. I Care. Oh, no. All right, everybody, settle down, settle oh, no. down. Somebody was interrupting the, the event, and they were properly taken care of. Oh, it was the NCR. It was the NCR. Guys. NCR. Alright, guys. Let me continue. Yeah. Yeah. Please continue. Okay. My intention is to actually have all factions: two wasters, two outcasts, two brotherhood, two gunners, any and all. I want to build a peace corps here. I would like that. That's a that is a, a absolutely phenomenal idea. Stone and I in the crowd. To make that happen. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Secondary speaker. I would speaker. like the factions to work closely along my police force and integrate with them. I like my opponent said, down. a peace corps. I would have representatives as officers and as law enforcement. Provide complete and utter neutrality. Just to ask a question, referring to what you just said there, would that imply that the peacekeeping force is also joined to the Senate, or are these two separate ideologies? They are two separate entities. I will make okay. sure that you, that under, if they are here working for Mr. House as the Peace Corps, they will follow Mr. Or Mr. House's guidelines. It will not be faction guidelines, as I, there are many different factions with many different laws. But upon this strip. Mr. House's laws will be above all if you are working as the Peace Corps. <laughs> I agree you, with my opponent. So, both of you mentioned earlier about the idea of having embassies put inside the Strip. The Joint Coalition agreed that that would only cause disarray. Would you instead push to the corners of the place or free side for their embassies to be placed and the strip remain a demilitarized and neutral zone, therefore not allowing firearms or heavy armor moving through the region? Um, as as I previously actually did answer this question earlier, brother, but um, as I previously I heard did, we said earlier. Okay. As I previously said about embassies in the strip, we agreed that well, that wouldn't be the case. It'd be outside and free side. Yeah, it, it will not be in the central of this. I, will, I do not mind embassies being on the outskirts of this town. It is a place that you guys can come together and that the Wastelanders can go and learn more about your factions. I am all for communication between Wasteland and factions in a peaceful sense. Yeah, okay. But as it, as it stands for where we are right now, in this main strip area, 
this will be the demilitarized zone. There will not be any embassies. There will not be any uh, organizations or battles or, or disagreements without Mr. House being present. And it will be addressed in the appropriate manner in my tower so that we can all come together and work through a peaceful resolution rather than come together and have an, an all-out battle that will not be allowed in this area. Repeat the question. <clears throat> the question I asked was referring to what you both mentioned earlier about embassies being placed within the strip. The secondary point I wanted to bring on top as well was that the maintaining of a demilitarized zone, be that no firearms or heavy armor can go through the strip. The idea being that anyone who goes into here should be unarmed. Yes, the main strip will be a demilitarized zone. So we let us out now. The outskirts of the zone will be sp the exterior of the strip will be split by one of the factions. Oh my God, it's still going on. Okay, thank you for both for your time. Just, uh, I do hope whoever one of you becomes Mr. House, I hope you do understand this is a massive mantle to take up. And if, in the case that you decide to work against the common man's goods, the Joint Coalition will annex it. Thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. Thank you. Alright. That was it for the questions. I wanted to thank everybody. <laughs> yeah, that was right. I, I told you multiple times. I want to thank everybody that has come here. All factions, all wastelanders, everyone. Just bear in mind that these two candidates are the ones that have put themselves first and foremost. You didn't miss much. There miss is much. a possibility Man. of more in the future. Tall. This is still a deliberation that we are having as faction leaders and uh, associates that are, yes, the council. Thank you. We'll With that being said, we are going to uh, be concluding the speeches here today. Take in mind the questions that have been asked and the situations that have been presented. And uh, everybody will be given the opportunity here soon to uh, vote on those subjects. So, Please, with that uh, being said, I feel that uh, we are coming to uh, a conclusion here soon. Um, Chang, do you have anything to say on the matter? Yeah, if uh, anyone would like to be interviewed, to be put up here as a candidate as well, we will be hosting interviews in the uh, Lucky 38 right behind here. Um, after this is over, just line up outside the door. Um, and on your way out of here, just make sure it's neat and uh, quarterly, so you're not stomping over each other. Thank Tank. you. Hold on. Will you also tell them what you told me about the veto system, please? I want to make sure that's clear for everybody at present. Um, so there will be a veto system between the High Council, and it's, it's strictly so that if someone does become a dictator or... Um, abuses their power, we can step in and, and find someone else that fits the position better. So as I told y'all, there will be checks and balances for those of you that are still concerned about my, my previous le leadings here. I wanted to make sure that you guys heard it from the horse's mouth yourself, himself, so. All right, everyone have a great night and uh, thank you for coming.